Hello and welcome to Dad Playing Games, and we are learning how to drive the steam locomotive in Train Simulator, and hopefully we'll, in our work here, we'll, uh, we'll learn a bit about steam engines and how they work. Okay? Alright, so what we have today is just the Pennsylvania Railroad uh, K4, and I've got it set up as a solo here, so we're not going to be pulling anything right now. The car in the back, as you know, is the tender, and the front is called the locomotive. I love this uh, train, so we're going to drive it a little bit. It's got an automatic feeder, and I have, I'm going to tell you, we have the uh, automatic fireman turned on. So inside the cab, that's this section back here with the windows on the locomotive, we have the fireman and the engineer. The engineer controls the uh, train and the fireman feeds the fire. Simple. Okay. Now, a steam engine, I've, I've seen a lot of videos with wrong information on them and it's, it's really bothered me. So I'm going to give you guys uh, proper operation of a steam engine here in Train Simulator. All right. So a steam engine is made up of several parts. Here we have back in this part the firebox. Okay. Now the firebox is fed by fuel that's either oil, wood or coal that comes in from the tender. Water also comes in from the tender. But the only thing that goes into the firebox is the fuel. And we know what's in the firebox, it's fire, right? So there's a tube that runs diagonally through the firebox, and then there's a bunch of tubes that run the length of this. This is, the rest of this section here is called the boiler, okay? And there are a bunch of long tubes running through here. And they're open at the end, okay? So you have fire in this section, in the firebox, and it's running hot gas through long tubes, through the whole length of the engine here, okay? There's these long tubes here. This section, and you can see where the rivets are there in the front, and it's a different color than the boiler section or the firebox, beautifully rendered. This is the smoke box. So all of the stuff from the firebox goes through the tubes, and right about here, the tubes exhaust into the smoke box, okay? Now the purpose of the smoke box is to keep sparks from flying out of the smokestack. So as the smoke is coming off the fire, the superheated gas or the heated gas that's going through those tubes and the smoke comes down these long tubes through the boiler into the smoke box to keep sparks, you know, so the, the sparks shoot out the end of the tubes into this box and then the smoke goes up the smokestack. Okay, now this section is called the boiler for a reason and it surrounds both the firebox and the tubes. Okay, and it's full of water. All of this is full of water on the outside of the firebox and on the outside of the tubes. All right, so the tender pumps water in here. Now, this is called the steam dome. All right, and what happens is you fire up the train, you get it nice and hot. These hot tubes in this water boil the water in here. Okay, and at the top, you've got a pipe that comes up into the steam dome and it sits open at the top above the water like a think of it like a snorkel getting air uh, but it's not getting air it's getting steam so it's above the level of the water and above the tubes and above the firebox and the open end of that is breathing in steam that's coming in okay so there's a lot of pressure in the boiler you know that you've seen your boiler uh, pressure on your uh, HUD so you know that steam pressure is all being pushed against that snorkel. So that steam, and this is called a dry pipe, although it's not really a dry pipe, it's a steam pipe. Steam is getting pushed through this pipe, through the steam pipe, and it goes all the way up to the firebox, and then you can see it divides. The steam pipe divides here. You see the steam pipe coming out there on that side, and, it, and there. So in the middle here, in the firebox, or the smoke box, sorry about that, in the smoke box, it divides, and you've got a steam coming steam coming from each side. So it goes up into the steam dome, the water boils, the steam goes into the steam dome, down the steam pipe, through the steam pipe, into the valve. Now this is the valve, and the valve sort of um, looks like a thimble, or, or a, um, not a thimble, a uh, spool, okay? 
so it's wide on each end but sort of narrow in the middle and it moves back and forth okay so when we get the train going what's happening is we're moving this valve back and forth and the first chug that you hear is a is a half turn of the wheel okay this is the piston okay the piston is in here and it's like a big plunger all right now the piston's going to move all the way forward and back, all forward and back. Now what moves the piston is we, the valve opens up, okay, steam is allowed in, you, you open the, um, you open the regulator and the steam comes through here, and it comes down through the steam pipe, and in let's say this front side of the valve, okay, the valve o is open and it allows steam into this side of the cylinder all right and the as the heat in there builds or the steam builds that steam expands and pushes against the cylinder and the cylinder goes back and drives the drive wheels half turn when the cylinder expands all the way down to the rearward of the uh, casing that it's in here when the when that sort of valve that that plunger goes all the way to the end of the of the uh, cylinder here the valve admits steam on the back side and at the same time all the steam that was pressurized and pushing that plunger is exhausted out through the smokestack as well. Now that's important because as the steam goes out of the smokestack it pulls the air from the smoke box. It gives a venturi effect, a, a vacuum effect on the smoke coming out of there which draws more air through the firebox, which makes the fire burn hotter, okay? So the valve at this end allows steam into this side, the rear side of the cylinder, and it pushes the plunger to the other end and we get the full stroke. Every time we complete a stroke with the plunger in here in the cylinder and the valve exhausts steam out, you get a chug, okay? Now, let's go into the cab of the train. I guess we should talk about the, these are pilot wheels, these are drive wheels, okay? And this is a, uh, I think it's called a trailing wheel and it's just a support wheel, okay? It just supports the weight. You have an ash box that you're gonna worry about. And as a train sits, you want to, you, we don't have to worry about it in the, in the simulator, but in the real world you would. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on F5 and we can see all the data that we need to run our train, okay? Cylinder cocks are closed, right here. So we're gonna open those up before we start. And you see that? We're letting steam out of the cylinder because we don't want water for a little while. We've gotta, we gotta run a couple of cycles of that cylinder. We gotta get water out of there because that water cools our cylinder and makes us less efficient, okay? All right, now we go into the cab.